Hi, welcome to Social Research Insights. The mission of Social Research Insights is to promote open source software for data analysis for both academics and uh, corporate research needs. Uh, this is in fact one of the parts of my series of presentations on bioinformatics through our language. In this video cast, I'm going to explain you some of the uh, data banks, I mean genome banks, available for genomic analysis of bioinformatics. Uh, there are there are importantly three repositories or gen banks. We uh, uh, sometimes we call them as uh, we refer to gen banks, which stand for genome bank. And these are the three uh, repositories I often visit for genomic information of any given species. Um, uh, coming in, uh, going by, uh, going through the list, uh, the first one is the National Center for Bio Biotechnology Information, which is located in the U.S. and the URL is www.ncbi.nlm.nih.gov. And the second one is European Molecular Biology Laboratory, uh, which is located in the U.K. <coughs> and the URL is www.ebi.ac.uk. And the third one is uh, DNA Bank, Data Bank of Japan, uh, located in Japan. And the URL is www.ddbj.nig.ac.jp. So these are the three important repositories. I, I mean, there are dozens of uh, repositories available for genomic information. Uh, but these are the thr three most important uh, repositories, repos repositories uh, researchers often visit in order to get the information regarding uh, um, the gene sequences or maybe the DNA or nucleotides uh, etc. Uh, the, the main purpose of this video cast is to show as how to download the information the gene sequence informa gen genome information of a uh, particular species uh, from the from the genome bank. So, so we have uh, three different ways of uh, I mean I would like to explain uh, three uh, different ways to get this data from the repositories and this is the first one which means you can just go to this uh, URL uh, you need not remember of the URL you just have to go to the web browser and there you have to search for the NCBI or EMBL or DNA uh, DDBJ uh, otherwise uh, the alternatively we can also just go uh, I mean that is the that, that is the sh shortest way to search for the data and uh, uh, when we I involve in uh, uh, the data analysis uh, related to bioinformatics or biotechnology uh, we need uh, the w we try to access the data or we try to retrieve the data from the genome bank uh, with the help of a, a code uh, attached uh, to that particular data set known as accession. So this accession is actually alphanumeric code given by a particular repository, I mean the genome bank and by using this code we can locate the file in the server and we can retrieve it back. So, so th that way we try to do download that uh, data file which later we use it for the data analysis. So so if that is the case, like in case if the researchers are interested to search the data sets, uh, they can simply, in case if they know the accession, they can simply search, uh, go, go to this URL, ncba.nlm.nih.gov for slash genbank for slash. So yeah, they can go to this place and there they can just uh, simply input the accession and get the file. And the third way is simply to search for the the genome uh, information of uh, mm, microbe uh, uh, through the Google search uh, bar. Just open the web browser, go to the Google search, and th there just uh, type the name of the microbe uh, that you are uh, interested uh, to do the research. So uh, here the line shows that dengue virus which means uh, I mean you just go to the web browser open the Google uh, uh, search and they just type dengue virus 
and we'll, you'll simply re redirect it to so many links uh, which are essentially the resources uh, available f uh, which might be available for that particular search uh, string or maybe the word and that is in precise what is the aim of this uh, uh, presentation uh, I, I in precise explain uh, the three different uh, uh, s uh, resources uh, uh, as known as the the genome banks uh, that are most reputed uh, on the globe for bioinformat for the researchers involving in bioinformatics or biotechnology or maybe the genomic genomics. <coughs> now let us go to the browser and uh, I will uh, try to demonstrate uh, as how to do. I mean, uh, uh, I do a uh, lot of research on related to biotechnology and often I download the the genomic uh, g g genomes uh, from uh, from these repositories uh, let us assume that we are trying to do some uh, research on uh, on dengue virus so in this case what I do is just uh, go to NC BI uh, just you know you yes uh, so it will uh, redirect to <coughs> to a particular the very first uh, link uh, in the search result will be the the exact match of uh, uh, the, uh, the the search string. Uh, uh, I mean NCBI. See here you can see National Center for Biotechnology Information. There are some sub uh, sections here, but don't worry. Just uh, click on this, and you'll be redirected to some other place, and where uh, th there might th 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 there's a lot of information regarding the biotechnology, bioinformation, bioinformatics. And uh, we are interested in retrieving the data. I mean, I would like to download the the genome genome sequence of uh, dengue virus. So, in which case, what I do, I just uh, try to write that name dengue in search bar, the top of the top of the portal or the web page. We have the search for all databases. Uh, you can also choose a particular data in case if you uh, are aware of any particular data uh, place where your 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 data is available. And you can straight away go to that uh, place and uh, and uh, uh, trigger the action such a way that this portal will will try to fetch the information from that particular place. So in this case, as I said, I'm going to I I'm searching for the genomic sequence of dengue virus. So uh, I press search, and now the NCBI will try to get me a lot of information. So as I said, I'm interested in genome sequence. So in that, uh, if that is my my interest then I have to go to a place called nucleotide uh, press on nucleotide where it is shown as DNA and RNA sequences and these are the results mm, that I got after pressing on the nucleotide the option nucle nucleotide if you observe very carefully that mm, th these links are uh, one way or the other way related to my search string but not exactly okay so I'll just choose uh, I mean as a matter of common sense uh, the seventh uh, uh, link uh, appears to be a bit uh, related to my search I mean dengue virus 3 isolate something like that so but whereas the first one the chimeric dengue virus vector P4 I don't think this is like the complete sequence but this is not what I'm trying to searching for but anyway let me uh, go through I mean let me click on the first uh, uh, link and it will uh, redirect me to to another place where I have some certain information just like as I said you know the accession this is the accession uh, here you can see that this is the accession of, uh, of, of GenBank I mean the accession is the alphanumeric code attached to a particular data file so here you can uh, pick up uh, the gene sequence this is gene sequence you can see very clearly a g t t g t t a g t something like that and this is the sequence which we are interested in and this is what we are going to use it uh, for our uh, analysis uh, but uh, this is not exactly what i'm looking for i want uh, uh, the very very exact matching like dengue virus 1 or 2 3 4 5 so there are five stereotypes for dengue virus because the dengue virus is evolving. Uh, the scientists found th five stereotypes of uh, dengue virus, but I didn't find the find the type five, but I could uh, find the type four. 
but anyway this is not the uh, the exact uh, data file that I'm searching for so let me close this and l let me go to this dengue virus 3 3 and and of course it has an accession and it also has a sequence here sequence which is very short uh, I don't know the exact uh, length of the dengue virus sequence we'll see that later when when I start the analysis but I'm sure that my uh, by as a matter of common sense it it, it uh, I, I, I feel that this is not exactly what I'm searching so now anyway after coming to this place one thing is very clear to me that if there is dengue virus 3 certainly there must be uh, another fi uh, file for dengue virus 1 so this time what I do I just go back mm, and search for dengue virus 1 so very exact I'll keep it rather exact uh, dengue virus one genome sequence so this time let me see if I can go to a particular let me go to the nucleotide where it is written DNA or in your sequences so nucleotide and yes of course this time I got some mm, valid uh, it seems to be valid uh, resources to me because I think my mm, there are the accessions are different uh, different alphanumeric names are appearing here <coughs> but anyway let me go to the first one let me click on the first very first resource and let me see if uh, dengue virus 1 is isolate uh, complete gen genome sh shows me complete genome and this is the accession jq675358 they tend to change okay uh, we need not worry about what is the accession exactly we are in search of but in case if you would like to know the exact version of your virus sequence then you can search by that particular accession so here we have some sequence okay it seems to be a bit appealing because the length is a bit uh, okay so in case after verifying that this is exactly what I'm searching for so you should be very careful that the authors who submitted the sequence uh, uh, here there is some information of the authors who had submitted this gene sequence genome sequence analysis of dengue virus 1 isolated in Key West Florida so from where these individuals had submitted the viruses this is RNA viruses this is RNA positive strand virus no DNA stage flavi veridae flavi virus so this is actually the name of the original name of the dengue virus so here it's written dengue virus group and this is dengue virus one okay and in case if you are interested uh, you can also click on this uh, I mean let me see what is there uh, this link okay dengue virus 1 Brazil, dengue virus 1 Jamaica, Singapore, Thailand Oh, organism name to get more information okay this is extra information but anyway so I have this uh, this is what is the piece of information that I'm searching for for my data analysis so I can simply go to the top right mm, uh, end and there you can see that send choose file and here you can choose the format in our language we have wonderful package known as R sec uh, sec R S E Q I N R it is a package that has uh, wonderful methods to analyze bioinformatic uh, bi bi bio the, the gene sequence data and there is a function called read fa faster so that is why I advise you to to choose the format as in faster and after that create file so within no no time uh, you will get the file you can see that sequence dot faster you just have to save the file in your wherever you are interested in I already have that file so I'm not worried about it save that file and keep it up there uh, we'll try to use it later okay so I think uh, or I hope that uh, that is very clear as how to uh, retrieve the data sets for bioinformatics uh, data analysis for bioinformatics uh, through through NCBI okay 
So we can also use the rest of the uh, uh, the other two uh, uh, genome banks uh, to retrieve the same data, but 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 the accessions might uh, will be different. The data is same. So the accession depends on the type of the repository we are in, but the data more or less will be same. Thank you.